Hey guys, Motor Car Nut here, and today we're going to be working on a short block, Subaru uh, block, to take the pistons and connecting rods out. This is the FB25. This is from 2010 and present. All right, it's not like the older ones where they had an access hole where you could take the wrist pin out and just take the piston out. You can't do it that way on the newer ones. I'm going to show you how to do that. First thing you want to do is mark the pistons. You can mark them any way you want. You know, as long as you put them back exactly where they where they go. Say like one face in front, four face in front, three and, and, th and two, and two etc. All right. So when you take them out, and and you got to make sure when you re put them back in, you're putting them back in with the engine upside down. So whichever way you mark them, that's how you take them out. Okay. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna rotate the crank. And you can get you can get two at a time, but whatever. You can put you see over here, you have one and two, you get them two there, and on this side, you get these two. Alright, you take them off with a I have the inverted torx. This one it's an E12. You see that? And just take it off with a, um, a socket or, or impact. Socket is better. And mark them. Make sure you mark them. It's always good to mark everything, especially if you have multiple jobs going on. You don't want to mix up parts. You want them to come out and go back in the exact same way you took them out. Okay? So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to take the shell, mark the shell, take them off, and we're going to continue from there. Okay. Then once you take the uh, connecting rod off, just make sure it doesn't touch and scratch the um, the journal of the crank. And you just get like a little piece of wood or something here and just push it out. You know, push it this way and hold the piston. It's almost all the way out as it is right now. Okay, you just get like a little piece of wood. You push it with this one hand while you hold this and you pop it out. And you do that for all four. Here's the piston out. All right, make sure you put the cap on the same way you took it out, especially if you're going to uh, take them apart, keep them on the side, and make sure they go back the same. If you're reusing everything, make sure it goes back exactly how you took them out in the same cylinder hole, and that's how you take them out. All right, guys? I'm going to have videos on how to install them, a little bit different. You're going to need a spring or compressor, but um, that's it. Motor car not, please subscribe, hit that like button. Any questions, leave them below. I answer all my questions pertaining to the video. I appreciate all the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.